Hi, this is Bill Scheid from the TTM Djembe Academy in Winston-Salem. On this video, I'd like to talk about the difference between binary and ternary. A lot of students say, hey, we hear in Djembe classes, people are talking about binary versus ternary. What exactly does that mean? So let's take a look. Let's say, for example, we have four beats, four down beats, and we're gonna draw those on the board just as uh, vertical lines here. So let's say we have one, then we have two, we have three and we have four. These beats are the places where we would tap our foot or clap our hands. So we, it's where we would say one, two, three, four, if we were listening to the music. Now, when we say binary or ternary, what we're talking about is how we divide these beats. And the word that we're gonna use for the units of division, we're gonna use the word pulses. Now, in binary, most of the time what that means is we have four pulses for every beat. So, it would look like this. Now, theoretically, if I were a little bit better at writing on the chalkboard, each one of these vertical lines would be evenly spaced. So we have our down beats, it's where we would say one, two, three, four, or count, uh, or tap our foot, so one, two, three, Four. and each one of those beats we're dividing it into four pulses so for example uh, sometimes you might hear people say one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a so if you wrote for example e and a right up here sorry for the sloppy handwriting if you wrote one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a four e and a we've divided each beat into four pulses this is what we call binary right now, if you're a, a Western music student, when we say binary or ternary, you know basically what we're talking about is meter here, right? So we have essentially duple meter. So binary, a quick way, easy way to remember it or understand the feeling, everything that's uh, where the music feels like or that's binary. The pulses underneath are one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a da ka da du gu da ka da du gu da. So now let's take a look at ternary. Let's start the same way. Let's draw our four down beats. So we'll do one, two, three, four. And now what we're going to do for ternary is we're going to divide each beat into groups of three pulses instead of four. So what would that look like? We would draw this. Again, in theory, each of these vertical lines would be equally spaced. So now, if we write the numbers in, we would have one, two, three, four, and each downbeat is divided into three pulses. So sometimes you might hear people say, uh, for example, like one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, or butterfly, 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 or however people like to say it. Essentially, all the music where we have do 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 or da gu da da gu da, all of that is ternary. So uh, if you're a Western student, you would call this uh, triple meter instead of duple meter. Uh, sometimes, as far as time signatures go, you hear people refer to this as 4-4, four, four, sometimes 2-4, but more often 4-4, four, four, and people call this 6-8 or 12-8, just depending on where you want to draw the bar line and, and actually how you want to write it. That's the difference between binary and ternary in a nutshell. Of course, it's much better to be able to play the music than to think or write about the music, right? territory before the map. The map is not the territory, but this can be a very useful framework, at least to help you get inside the world of the music. And when you hear people say binary and ternary, now you know what they're talking about. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I'm Bill Scheid with the TTM Djembe Academy in Winston-Salem. If you'd like to study with a TTM professor, check out our website, ttmda.com. You can find certified TTM teachers all over the world. See you on the next video.